China and South Korea have reached eight agreements to lay out their future vision for a vision for a common prosperity in the coming decade. While the two leaders have also reiterated a shared commitment to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Zhang Nini reports. Leaders from both countries have overseen the signing of eight agreements to strengthen cooperation in the high-tech industry, customs, energy efficiency, oceanic technology, and wildlife protection. The leaders have also agreed to boost the intergovernmental and ministerial level dialogue to bring the strategic partnership to a new height. Both sides have agreed to keep regular contact between the leaders, strengthen cooperation on all fields and at all levels. We will continue to deepen mutual trust and respect the core interests of each other. Both leaders have called for a substantive boost to the China-South Korean strategic cooperative partnership. The two sides have also agreed to step up FTA talks and increase trade and investment to a target of 300 billion U.S. dollars. Peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula is helping Park's agenda in China. The soft spoken president is top-minded on calling for Korean Peninsula free of nuclear weapons. Both sides have agreed that we will not accept DPRK as a nuclear power. We will continue to work towards the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We will continue to strengthen strategic cooperation and fulfill our obligations. Closer economic cooperation in recent years has helped both the relations between China and South Korea. Ha Gun Hei's visit this time has more political focus given the current situation on the Korean Peninsula. The two sides have agreed to deepen mutual trust so as to contribute to peace and prosperity in Asia and the world. Zhang Yini, CCTV, Beijing.